Hello everyone, you're welcome to Start Now channel and today we're going to be talking about Jesus in the media space. I really like the sound of that. I'm your host Mary and with me is... Adebisi Emmanuel. Adebisi Emmanuel. <laughs> okay, Emmanuel, there's something I would like to share with you. And trust me, I'm always here and there trying to fish out those videos that people are saying things about. <laughs> but this time around, this one was too shocking for me and I could not really hold back. You're aware of Minister Ebukai's songs? Yes. And he recently released a song featuring Moses Bliss titled New, New Generation. Generation. And this song, coming from knowing Minister Ebukai's songs with uh, We Pray, I We Pray, with everybody speaking in songs with the prayers, and down to I'm a Soldier in the Battlefield, his songs. Then we move on to this very nice, right, bumpy song of. I would, oh, yes, yes, yeah, find what we love Jesus, yeah. yes, that song. And someone, you know, the song to me feels as though it's like innocent. Everybody, either you are even loving God and everyone is just singing, find what we love Jesus and declaring that we love Jesus by <laughs> first. But it has, if you observe, there's just something about the song that really resonates with you. And to me, I felt this song is amazing. To my surprise, someone came up and said, find what we love Jesus, like as the lyrics in the song now, is leading to more worldliness. Wow. And I was amazed because I paused for a minute. I wasn't so quick to say, move on, no. But it was more, where exactly is it leading to worldliness? So, of course, I had... Like, we go down to the comment section. At the comment section, people were saying, no, 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 no. This is very good. This is very amazing. The song really helped me. The song is blessing life. But what that struck me the most was where someone said he was passing or something, and he had his Muslim friend or neighbor singing, Find the Will of Jesus. Wow. And that was when he knew how powerful that song is. Yeah. And yet... Someone comes up saying that this song is leading to more worldliness and something. So, Mr. Imano, what exactly do you have to say about that? And why is it that we, will I say Nigerians, I don't know what to call it now, we are not very open to receiving something different. We just believe it's different. It's coming from another place, and you know, from someone like Minister Abuka songs now that's been going all in the direction of more of Teofilo Sunday and all mm. going all bobbing and everybody, player, yeah, uh, yes, and everyone is now dancing to find more will of Jesus. What do you want to say about that part? Okay, um, in my own opinion, I think we are used to, um, like being listening to one a minister having a particular gen of music. Okay. So for instance now, people believe um, Minister Dusio Yoko should only focus on worship sessions. Yeah, is, is it going to be strange if Minister Dusio picks up the f microphone and I'm hearing something like Prince Emmanuel's rap in it? Like, Whoa! So that, it's actually that is go going to make it go and People will be like, what's this? What's yeah, this? It's as not that, as so, that moment, so everyone here is backsliding. <laughs> Say again. Yes, yeah. And by the way, Pastor Dunsey, I, I hope you're seeing this. <laughs> we hope to have a very nice rap <laughs> All right, right, please continue. Because, okay, for instance, now, if Pastor Dunsey, Minister Dunsey now switches, probably he's having a worship session, then he switches to praise, it will look as though, what's happening? What's happening? People will start saying, ah, yeah. it's still in line, it's still normal yeah. thing. Okay, now, in our churches, we have praise and worship sessions. Mm. Mm. People, some people, they, they dance, they show appreciation. That's the way they can pull out, pour out themselves. Yes. And some people, it is doing worship. Mm -hmm. Know what works for you. Okay. So another thing I would like to have, sorry for interrupting, is this. Look at Prince Emmanuel. Prince Emmanuel is like the oh. real, <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm... Another vibe on its own. That's another vibe. But I... I know sometimes people look at the lyrics of the song and they're saying, no, this one started, this sounding like some worldly song. These songs are not godly. These songs of our time are not doing this. I want to ask you something, Mr. Imano. For a scenario now, we you have a, will I say, an unbeliever that recently converted into the faith and now is following Jesus. And if you remember, as we are taught in uh, Sunday school and all, 
yes, our spirits and everything, we are dedicated to God, but the soul still takes a while yeah. to regenerate. At that point in time, what do you think? Do you think that's the point where you say, you know what, you have to start listening to Nathaniel Bass's song, wow. you have to start doing this? As, as at that point, a person tries to look for songs that resonate with him, but still doesn't take him out of the faith. Because at that point, it is more of, okay, I'm looking for a song that will still minister to me, but it's still a genre that works for me. Not everybody is going to love, I will pray, I will pray, I will yeah. pray. Yes, it's, it's a bad song. It isn't. But many other people, why do you think it's difficult for believers both believers now this is not a non-believer thing no because people castigating uh, the songs of ministers are not all unbelievers oh. do you understand what i'm saying like they're not all unbelievers some believers believe no 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 that song is of the devil especially when i piano came into the picture oh wow that was a major opera hmm. so what exactly is it why is it that what is it about the genre of general music that people cannot seem to accept. Because now, for me, considering the the comment session of what the person is saying, it's a worldly song, I don't necessarily see what that person is seeing. But then I will say that it's important that we understand why is it that believers, and even when I say non-believers now, are unable to accept the gender. Like you mentioned, I can't imagine, have I ever seen Minister Teofila Sunday singing... Praise and worship. Imagine Minister Dio Phil Sunday picks up the mic and say, My father is bigger than Odogu. Everyone will go say, What? <laughs> no, 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 at yes, that moment, yeah. they'll be like, Ah, this guy, are you sure this guy is not backslided? Yeah. Because he's meant to like take us, we should ascend with his sound. Yeah, but, yeah, ascend. I like the word ascend. So, yeah. are we descending now? <laughs> what's going on? So, what do you want to say about that? Why are we not accepting? Why, why are we not taking this in because it took some people a while to just you know when you saw i saw the new generation thing and you listen to the song and you're seeing yourself shaking your head and you say ask yourself is this the same person singing this song why is it that we can't seem to accept this and why is it people are quick to castigate gospel musicians when they, are, they decide that okay this is how god is leading me today it doesn't necessarily mean the person is out of faith yeah. why can't we accept that why is it difficult i think one of the issues you can't you can't um how would i put it not everybody will like you that's number one but my spiritual father will say you're not ice cream <laughs> <laughs> so it's not everyone that will like you as far as you have people that love your songs you still have people that they are looking for little, little mistakes that they were yeah. used to like, okay, let's push out this thing. This person is not doing this right. Okay, personally, I feel the person might have a personal, personal reasons for making that statement, actually. Because, okay, uh, let's see. Mm. You actually, you've been listening to him for a while. Mm -hmm. I know he's always told them songs. Yeah, you feel you connect more with this minister. Then this, yeah. you hearing now him releasing another one. Are you saying, find by will of Jesus? You'll be like, ah, ah, your songs are meant to like lead us to pray, not lead us to dance now. I, you like, maybe that's what the person is, is trying to say. But <laughs> one thing is just let God lead you. Mm -hmm. Let God lead you. Okay. That's just the final thing. Okay, um, in that aspect, I believe um, it depends on personal opinion. Okay. Because, okay, some, there are some people, for instance, now there are times when you want to, you need to walk and you're mm -hmm. tired. Mm -hmm. And you have, you have music ministers that you will listen to that will steer you up and you'll be like, I have to, I have to get this thing done. And yes. you'll be charged. And there are some times you want to pray. You might, there are some ministers, though, um, I, that's why I don't want to mention names of ministers. Yes, so it's only guys, right. though, yes. this or this. There are some ministers you listen to, and it will jail, even while you're walking, you will have to suspend what you are doing and pray. Yay! That you have to suspend what you are doing and pray. Much. So I believe it depends on personal, personal dedication and personal yeah. opinion. On, on, on that it. part. All right, sir, I want to ask you now, what do you want to say about the people that decide to find fault in every ad work people put into, not just people, I mean gospel ministers per se. You know, there was this time that Easy T had to come out and say, why will you steal 
other people's songs and use it for this and that. So what do you want to say to fault finders? People that are out there just to wait for, do you see, okay, oh, you can't drop that song and boom. Copyright. This is it, copyright. Or oh, they just say, why is he singing in this manner? Why did he sing it on this tone or something? What do you want to say about the fault finders? Fault finder, they should stop finding faults, please. Just let everybody rest. Okay, okay, I, I think I get the point. Fault finders, stop finding fault. And finally, I will like to add that in this age and time, we must look beyond the ministers. One thing is important, you must remember that they are saints of God. They are not just saying, I'm going out there to sing. And they are singing unto someone, and God is the God they are singing to. So if you have an issue with them, take it up with God and stop bringing down his vessels. So thank you very much. This has been a very insightful session. Don't castigate people. Don't just talk to them and say, why would you sing this song? Why would Prince Emmanuel start saying all this? Thing? What's that supposed to mean? It's not much of anybody's, you know, business. But I will say that we can at least say our words nicely. Thank you very much. I remain Mary and I'm at the BC Emmanuel. Thank you very much. Everybody remember to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Thank you. Bye. Bye.